hey guys um welcome to my channel thanks for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe and of course hit your notification bell for all new upcoming videos today i want to dive in on the differences between a strong woman and i call the other one a woman of strength i feel like there is some misconceptions along the way and sometimes when you say you're a strong woman they think that you mean um these characteristics that i'm going to actually label so let's dive right in so the difference i would say between a strong woman and a woman of strength is really the mindset and the behavior and what they think in their head that they need to portray to represent a strong woman so really it's just two different ways that i look at um the difference between the strong woman and just a woman who has strength and has endurance and perseverance i feel that when it comes to a strong woman the one that most people are referencing she's basically quick to speak um she tries to work to change others she's always in the lead she has more of a me first attitude um she criticizes and judges others and then she always wants more it's like you can never give that person enough and then she must be in control and then she sits around and wait for people to apologize for behaviors that she felt offended her I find that these are more so of attitude issues, more behavior and mindset. And a lot of women, a lot of women think that these type of ways that you show up are really a strong woman when truthfully it's more of a character thing when it comes to strength and how to classify it. So when I put my list together of what I figure a woman of strength is. I said, um, quick to listen, uh, focused on growing herself, and always, um, well not always, but she allows others to lead. So she's like submissive in a way where she doesn't always have to be the one that knows everything. She knows that in life, there are some things you don't know and there are people there to help you. And sometimes they have to take the lead because they are more qualified or just have more knowledge. Um, then I put, she has an others first attitude. So not like selfish, she considers others. Although she knows that she has to make sure that she herself is well taken care of and mentally stable it's still important to have that other's mindset which is just always being thoughtful of what the next person might be going through or it has experienced in general with you or anyone else and then i put always has enough so it's content and grateful is really the thing and i really try to stay in that mindset because sometimes i think that we all can deter and feel that you know we need more and i struggle with that but i feel that i've overcame because i've seen what it is to have nothing so i kind of let that mindset go and been really in a lot of grateful uh a grateful mindset i had zoned out for a second because i was just thinking about how far i've overcame a lot so um the next one i put is knows god is in control so this is a woman that is spiritual she's aware that there is something more than her that there's something inside of her that she needs to hone into and listen to um also this is a person who seeks reconciliation so not always quick to hold a grudge and hate people and easier to forgive and for me um i've actually grown into being better at that um it took me a while because like i used to hold in a lot of anger but i think once i started to sit back and gather more understanding it was easier for me to release because i started to really learn myself and realize that if I sat there and held in all this unforgiveness, I couldn't really focus on what I needed to do. And honestly, I, like I said in a lot of videos, I have a lot of plans for myself in the future that I really want to stick to and hone in on. And for me to harbor things that happened in the past, 
I found that it hindered me. So I've learned to just let those things go more rapidly than the way I used to prior. So I'm going to put in the description um, the difference between what people think a strong woman is and then what I think a woman of strength is. And you guys can tweak your list or you might have maybe a different list. But I just found that those type of um, behaviors, patterns, and mindsets of a woman of strength are the ones I listed because not only does it show character for herself and respect for herself, it shows respect for others and value of others, which helps you in life because in life you need other people because everything that happens in life involves a person, whether it's your living situation, your car situation, your job situation, whatever's going on. And learning how to deal with people and have respect for others and put others, well, not put others before you, but consider others, I feel is important. And it also shows a lot more humility and you get further being more humble and just firm than just being angry and out of control and trying to force people into things. And I learned that living on both sides of it because I used to think that some of the characteristics I spoke earlier um, was the way to be a strong woman because that was how I grew up. But once I started to read and just look at different women and started looking at different role models and different mentors that I wanted to align more with and mentally I knew that was who I was more so towards. It's just that my environment was pushing me in opposite way. But now that I've just stepped away from that type of lifestyle and mindset, I find that these strengths here are what represent me and what I hone into and what I try to live by. There's also other principles and characteristics, but I'm just talking about when it comes to strength in a woman and what I consider is a woman of strength. So don't forget to hit your notification bells, you guys, for new upcoming videos. Um, toward the end of the year, I'm going to start slowing down a lot of my videos just because I have a lot out there right now. And I do also have a lot of other things going on when it comes to my business. So just stay tuned and like and subscribe. Take care, guys.